Hi, my name is Errol Steffi, and this is artist James Main from Coopersburg, and he has done a couple renditions of uh, the Freeze Rebellion here. Uh, this is the Northampton and Bucks County Militia around the Sun Inn, and I believe that was on at, uh, in the afternoon to the evening of March 7th. Yeah, around, probably around noon, 1 o'clock, somewhere there. And, uh, the, the North, Northampton militia was there first, and this over here, I believe, represents uh, where were they, Jim? These they, guys, they, they were coming these in. These guys here. are coming the in. The Bucks County was coming in. And there's, there's, uh, there's, there's John. Yeah. Okay. And, and then, then a couple minutes after this happens, John tells everybody, like, chill, I'm going to walk in there. You know, we don't want to get this thing any worse than, you know. So he walks in there, and that's John coming in, and barges in, Nichols, Marshal Nichols is there going like, you know, whoa, you know, this is going to be a big deal. And, and, and Errol here has people in here and yeah. outside. So for yeah, crying these, out loud, these you know, are, he's, uh, he's a, representing my people here. This would be my, uh, uh, my daughter and her husband were the innkeepers in the painting. And, uh, two he, these two kids, right. And these would be their sons, uh, representing Adam Stephan and uh, maybe Herman Hartman or somebody who we know was be, was being held uh, prisoner. Yeah, I aged him a little. Yeah. Hartman, Hartman and, and uh, uh, Stephan were neighbors, and I'm sure there were five neighbors that were being held, even though there were more. There's no list of, of uh, the 18, and some of them were released, and five of them then stayed. And down uh, here. Yep. And down here, here's the triumvirate. Yeah, here, here we are. This represents myself, my dad, and my uh, my cousin, whatever. And uh, that would be. Uh, we don't know who for sure who was there, so we can just say this was Jacob Steffi Sr., Jacob Steffi Jr., and Michael Schmeier. And and then over here. Uh, oh, we don't have, forget the granddaughters and yep, the dog. Like the, my 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 wife with the two granddaughters and the dog. And then we also have them putting up the Liberty Pole there. And there was one put up earlier in the day, I believe, or the day before, at the other hotel in Yeah, they had one in down there. Yeah. So. Oh, there was one in the Quaker Town. Right, yeah. also, yeah. yeah. From this? this is from the Moravian Archives mm -hmm. in Bethlehem. Yeah, Jim made sure everything was correct for, for the time period, that this is the way it did look. Yeah, I, I, contacted, I contacted the architect, uh, John Milner, who was in charge of the restoration of the inn. Because he did, he, did he did the hard work and the research. You know, he, all I had to do was like... So you want to talk a little bit about the Freeze Rebellion for people to, who don't know what it was about? In 25 words or less? <laughs> yeah. I don't well, even, no, was, look it up. Look it up. Yeah, they yeah. have to go do this themselves. <laughs> yeah, it was a direct, it was the first direct tax, I believe, in, in uh, the United States. And it was, uh, they were having the tax because they were thinking we might have to go to war with France. And of course, all of these people thought the French were great from just a few years earlier when the revolution was. And uh, most of the people in Mukunji did side with the uh, with the rebels. They were against the English. They wanted to break away, and almost everybody in the township was in the militia, you know, of age. So the direct house tax, as it was called, was they had assessors, which were mostly Moravians, I believe. The assessors, no, or, no, or the Moravians were pretty neutral okay. on this whole thing. But, it kind of broke down between the English immigrants and the German immigrants. Right. For instance, uh, the, 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 like Everard Folk, who, the assessor that was assaulted in Quakertown on that cover, uh, came from Wales. So there was all, yeah, that guy. It was all this guy here on the horse. Uh, it's Everard Folk. And believe it or not, I still, I know folks that still live in Quakertown. And you did the artwork for the cover. Here yeah. The well, they, I did that 40 years ago. They used the <laughs> art for the cover after, yeah. long after I did it. Anyway, it broke down along English-German lines. And English-speaking, German-speaking, they didn't even really know how to talk to each other, you know. So, uh, and like the Germans, uh, you know, they, they 
fought the revolution. They were, you know, George Washington and all that. John Adams was a Federalist and he appealed more to the, uh, the English, you know, so, so it was, it was like, I don't know, nothing changes. History repeats itself over and over and over, you know, and, and, and animosity ruled these days, you know. But the good thing about it, it was a, a window tax and the assessors were to come out to the German farmers, well, and, and in Mukunji town and everything. Uh, to count your windows, and that's how you would be taxed. Glass was expensive. You know, you didn't have, you know, if you put windows in, you had the wealth to do that. You know, it was, and there were, and it was also taxed in, in other states on, on the number of slaves that were held, but none of these guys had slaves, and, and a few other criteria, but it, it became localized here because uh, that's all they had was, you know, Look at the windows, you know, now I'm going to, you know, and it's a high, it's a kind of high tax when you're considering that, you know, you're only getting like a dollar for a side of, if you're selling a side of beef, you know, and, and two dollars of pain can be pretty outrageous, you know, yeah, so, I don't know. It was the third, it was the third re, uh, rebellion against the Fed government, there was the, the Shays and the Whiskey uh, preceded that. So this is 1779, actually started in 98. And, and the country that only goes back to 76, so, so this stuff is just rolling one on top. Well, the, the good thing that came out of the tax is that all these houses were measured, and the ones that are still around, you can go out and measure them and, you know, double check, hey, that this is, you know, the place, original places. So, uh, yeah. and there were some men, you know, I think it was, I don't know, 15 or 18, something like that, I believe, that uh, did get fined and uh, only a few of them got jail, jail sentences. Uh, Michael Schmeyer, uh, my sixth great grandfather, uh, did die in prison in Norristown. Uh, but everybody in the end was sort of free. Uh, John Freeze wasn't, was pardoned by President Adams later on. After Freeze, Haney, and Gentman were found guilty of treason, sentenced to death by hanging. You know, I mean, I, that was pretty serious. Uh, sentence, you know, for, for what, what they did, because really all they, they all, they all they really did was they uh, propagated a jailbreak, basically, you know, that was it. Nobody got killed, you know, uh, that's all they did, but the, but uh, the federal government was feeling its oats and, and had to like make a, make a, what do you call them, example, yep. you know, because it, cause they want their money. <laughs> And uh, Michael Schmeyer died of yellow fever. There was a breakout at that time. Just uh, that the federal troops were called out of Philadelphia and they came up through. Uh, Southernville. Yep, and uh, you know, they wound up in Reading and I know they beat up the editor of the Reading Eagle there, Reading Adler at the time for, uh, you know. You have to read the story. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a, really, it's, 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 it's astounding.